Good evening, YouTube. Hell's Unicorn here once again. It's been a pretty eventful day, uh, to say the least. A lot of news. You know, you got everything from the up and coming 100th day of the great Barack the Messiah, Obama's presidency, and for the 100th time in 100 days, he's going to be letting all of us know how good we have it because he's president by being plastered all over the television set with the exception of Fox Network, who actually thinks they'd like to make some money for a change. And I can't really blame them for that. You know, money's what makes the world go round, as opposed to Barack Obama, which I'm sure most of his supporters think is what makes the world go round. But anyway, I'm not here really to talk about that. It's mildly interesting. And the same thing with all this swine pig hog flu, whatever the fuck you want to call it, um, not really terribly interesting. I mean, a lot of people dead in Mexico, but uh, all this talk about pandemics and everything, it sounds like a bunch of hysteria for ratings, and until it becomes something that's hysteria worthy, I'm not bothering with it. But an interesting piece of news for today is this whole business of Arlen Specter making his bold move and joining the Democrats. Now, of course, this is the way the media portrays this, but being somebody who's lived in Pennsylvania the entire time that he's been a senator, I know better. I know that this was purely a personal move motivated by self-interest. Now, from my personal standpoint, I don't really care what party the guy's in. You know, I've basically been out of the two-party system my entire voting life, with the exception of a short little uh, interlude where I was with the Republicans to support Ron Paul. Obviously, that didn't last very long. But, you know, the thing is, is that regardless of what party good old Arlen Specter belongs to, he's probably still going to be the senator here. And the thought of it just makes me nauseous. After being subjected to this guy's half-truths and half-lies for the better part of my life, I want nothing more than to just see the guy go, and it looks like, barring some sort of miracle, he's not going to. He's like that little piece of shit in the toilet that no matter how many times you clank down on that flusher, it just won't go down. And, you know, I guess just like with Ted Kennedy, what it's going to take is for him getting some kind of cancer that's eventually going to kill him to get him out of the damn Senate. Heaven forbid somebody younger and somebody with a fresher perspective actually get into that office and try to do something constructive for a change rather than sit there in a committee chairman's post and just go, well, I think that's a very important thing and I'll talk with you about it more. The thing that really annoys me about Arlen Specter is he sounds like a really bad version of that guy from It's a Wonderful Life. I keep forgetting that actor's name, but uh, it'll come back to me later. Maybe one of you guys can help me with that. But I just think that, well, I think this is a very important thing to consider. And, you know, I'm a becoming a Democrat now. And, you know, screw all you guys who think that there should be an actual procedure here where I could be eliminated from the mix with a primary, which I know I'm going to lose, so I'm just going to switch over here and be with these guys who I feel a little more comfortable with, just like I did back in the 60s before Reagan got into office and I needed to ride off of his coattails to win a meaningful election. That basically sums up my opinion about the guy, a guy who says a lot and yet signifies absolutely nothing. And it looks like I'm going to be subjected to another six years of this, along with everybody else that lives in Pennsylvania. For those of you who do not live in this state, I envy you. With prudence to myself and benevolence to all of you, good evening.